A thief went to a temple. He stole a pair of slippers. It was brand new, extremely attractive looking. And as he wore them and started running away, some people saw him and started chasing him. He tried to escape and then entered into a fair where there was a big crowd and he thought nobody can catch him there. And true enough, he got lost in that crowd. He felt fully secure and then he saw there was a man carrying a wallet on the back side of his pocket and he decided to steal that. He stole that purse filled with notes and then he ran. People were chasing him and he tried to escape and somehow or the other he managed to come all the way to the train station. As he entered into the train station, nobody could see him, nobody could catch him. He was very satisfied that he escaped again. But in the process of running, because the slippers were new, he could no longer keep them with him. And then he had to drop the slippers and then only he could run fast. So he thought, anyway, I lost the slippers, but I found this whole purse filled with notes. So he came to a snack stall in the train station and gave some notes and said, give me something to eat. The man looked at the note and said, sir, this is a fake note. And the thief was getting bewildered. He thought, what is this? I got cheated. So he thought, let me try something at last. So he came to a newspaper vendor and thought, let me give him this fake note. Gave him the fake note and said, give me a newspaper. The guy gave a newspaper and then he went and he sat inside the train and he thought, I had a bad day today. Tried to steal the slippers, I lost it. Tried to steal some money, it was all fake. Ultimately, I have only this newspaper. And so he thought, let me at least enjoy this newspaper. And as the train started moving and he sat reading the newspaper, he saw it was yesterday's newspaper. And that's how most of us experience life. It is described that all of us have the ability to lead the life with great honesty or in a sense of trying to cheat others. Upadrishta Anumanta Cha Bharta Bhokta Maheshwara Gita describes that each one of our activities is being keenly observed and overseen by the super soul within. Let us try to appreciate the presence of the super soul and know that ultimately when we try to cheat someone, we are cheating ourselves. Let us be honest to our own true selves. Let us be honest and ethical in whatever we do and know that nothing in this world comes free. I may think I have cheated him, I have cheated them, I have cheated there, I have cheated here, I'll get away with it. But no, in due course of time, things do catch up. And therefore, if we really want to lead a life of deep satisfaction and joy, we should live a life which is true to our own selves with full understanding that the super soul within is watching, observing, auditing each one of our thoughts, words and actions.